Hello. This is a bit of a strange poem and I realise that maybe, I don't know, it's not really expected. Um, it's completely different to anything else I've ever written in my whole life. But I got the idea on the train so I thought I'd write it and it's actually turned out quite well to read but it is quite long. So if you see me doing this it's because I'm moving my phone up because I do read them from my phone. Um, it also doesn't really have a name, but it's about um, FGM, so yeah, I'm just going to call it, I don't know, whatever, I feel like calling it at the end. So yeah, here we go. I push her onto the bed, and she doesn't protest. This is it, I think. Finally, this is it. But I better check. I look down at the girl I fell for who let me undress her soul before her body, who now lays under me. The look in her eyes tells me yes, as always, but normally protesting hands push me away before I get a chance to say, are you sure? But today is different, her arms are still around my neck and her eyes are still saying yes but her lips are silent. The moment seems silent, paused, expectant. Are you ready? I whisper, not wanting to break it. I have something to tell you. She sits up, I lay down. Go on. I brace myself. For the, you're too pushy, I don't want to go this far, I'm not a slut, or worse, I don't love you, it's not you, it's me. But more silence. I sit up. I'm not, she pauses. If you're not ready, that's okay, I say, meaning every word. I am ready, she looks at me, and her eyes say yes, but her body says nothing. When I was young, she starts again looking at me for reassurance. When I was young and living in Egypt, I think back to all her stories and memories from her childhood. It was before I should remember, she continues, and I'm sure this isn't a happy memory. But the pain. I remember the pain. The day I came in and my mother was screaming and they held me down and stripped me in. They were screaming and I didn't know who it was. Her eyes are searching mine for reassurance and comfort. You don't need to explain to me. I tell her, meaning every word. It was me, she whispered. I was screaming. And in one short, sharp stroke there was pain and blood, so much blood, for days, for weeks after. She stops again, allowing me to absorb what she was telling me. I was bound, from hip to ankle, to allow it to heal. They told me it was for purity. I push her onto the bed and she begins to protest. I silence her with a kiss. It's okay, I whisper. I won't hurt you. And I hold her till the pain goes away. Even if the absence only lasts a day, there's always tomorrow to fight away the demons of the past. Thank you. I think I'm going to call this Dyer.